Good morning and happy Thanksgiving YouTube viewers and subscribers. As you can see today is a pretty special day. Not only is it Thanksgiving, but I've also got my new ASP FT160 uh, engine mounted here on the test stand. I've got it set up. This is uh, actually going to be the second time I've run it. I wasn't supposed to tell you that, but uh, I actually did run it yesterday for about a third of a tank just because. It ran okay. Uh, I didn't have a setup like this though, so I've modified my setup here considerably. I've got a Globy tack mounted here. I've got dual nice starters set up because yesterday when I ran it, I just had them attached and yeah, that was real hit or miss. So now I've got the glow igniters, the wires here, and we're going to test this. I don't know if it's going to work. This could be a catastrophic failure. I don't think the engine will fail, but I think something in my setup might not necessarily work out very well. The other thing is yesterday when I had this tank mounted, it was on my normal stand, so it was up pretty high, so it was really kind of feeding a lot of fuel to it. So the tank is down as low as it can go in this setup, and the tank is filled with Morgan's 5% Omega with a bit of caster added, and I've got a Master Airscrew 16.8 prop installed, so uh, I'm going to try to hand start this thing, but if it doesn't want to hand start, then I'm going to go to my electric starter. I had a little bit of an issue charging one of these batteries this morning, so uh, I don't really want to keep them on the entire run. Uh, I might have to, and if I do, one of them's battery is not all that great. It may not last, so like I said, there's a lot of things being tested here in this setup, aside from just the engine running, so let's get right to it and see what happens. So that already didn't work.
Well, that concludes my second run of this engine. Um, clearly the low speed is, is not set very good at all. I just tried turning it in a turn and a half, but unfortunately leaving these things connected the entire time, they're both dead now, so I can't run it anymore today. Or at least not until those things get charged up, which will be several more hours. So, and being Thanksgiving Day, that was probably it for today. So it looks like I made it through about a half a tank. I was really trying to keep the RPM down, but uh, even though I've got fuel tubing here to act as some resistance to the throttle, it was still wanting to increase on its own, so it was hard to keep the th RPM down where they wanted it. Uh, and then, of course, when I did get it down pretty low, it didn't seem to want to stay there because, like I said, I think the low speed needle is just set way too rich right now. But uh, overall, this was a little bit better run, a little bit better than I had yesterday. I'm seeing a little bit of oil or something bubbling here. I don't know if there's a, that's not tight or what, but anyway, I think overall this setup worked pretty well. Uh, the single carb thing kind of is a concern because when I had my Sato FA 80 and 90 twins, at least that had two carbs dual carb so I could actually adjust each cylinder individually. This cylinder seemed like it was wanting to drop out much more frequently than this one. Now I don't know if that's due to maybe I had the weaker of the knives connected to that. I'm not really sure. I need to come up with a little bit better setup for these knife starters though. I did order some McDaniel locking glow plug you know, uh, igniters because I'm really kind of tired of these anyway. But anyway it is what it is. You saw it. It ran. I'm semi-happy. I uh, won't be totally happy until I get it all tweaked in, but all in all, it was a successful run. So I uh, hope you enjoyed watching, and uh, have a happy Thanksgiving, those of you in the United States.